The governor is expected to sign a bill that would affect thousands of contaminated cleanup sites. Joe the plumber ratchets up emotions at a Steve Lonigan fundraiser. Nursing homes say proposed Medicaid cuts will mean more pain for seniors. That, as a new report reveals, the elderly are already living on the edge in New Jersey. And budget blues mean more than two dozen layoffs in one Somerset County town. You're watching NJN News for Wednesday, May 6th. A health care workers union is on a mission to get more funding into the state budget for Medicaid reimbursements to nursing homes. The union says Governor Corzine's budget proposal would be devastating to the elderly. Senior correspondent Marie Denoya Aronson has the story. Floor 5 of the Alameda Center in Perth Amboy is hosting Group Bingo. It's in Spanish to accommodate this specific cultural crowd. So is the cooking and the TV channel. Down two floors and you'll find a ward similarly geared to the center's Indian community. Alameda Center is something of a star in New Jersey's nursing home world. But today at a news conference assembled by United Healthcare Workers, SEIU 1199, Administrator Michael Nyman says if the governor's budget passes as is, he may be forced to do away with some of this center's special features and services. With over 75% of our residents on the Medicaid program, the 24-hour care for, a, for a, a resident here at Alameda costs Costs us to care $260 a day to care for our patient while we're getting funded at $208 a day with the Medicaid program. One of the fundamental questions that we have to ask ourselves is what is the role of government when we have the sickest, poorest, and the most vulnerable citizens in nursing homes? Do we pull the plug on them? The union claims the budget proposal would cut state Medicaid reimbursement to nursing homes by $50 million which would lead to the loss of 50 million more in federal matching funds. In actuality, though, they admit Corzine's budget does not contain a cut by strict definition, but fails to include rebasing, which provides for the increase in health care costs and inflation. You can spend it however you want, but if it doesn't keep up to the trend of the increasing cost of health care and long-term care, uh, it's a cut. We're committed to protecting our seniors. Uh, we're uh, uh, committed to making sure that our educational system stays sound in very difficult economic times. Um, so we'll look at what the protest is about, but uh, uh, from our view, we have done everything we can. Residents and workers here are ready to go to the mat for this facility. Are you concerned about these cuts? Of course. I'm concerned not only for myself, I'm concerned for everyone that is in here already many years and the ones that are coming. You can't do this. He can't do this. He needs to come and see for himself what we do. Nobody can answer anything until they come and see for